prank I played on the ANAV? Why, yes I do. So this was before he made cheap. He was still sleeping in our bunk room, and whenever I was off going, he was in the rack. Well, of course he was in the rack. He's the ANAV. And he's just a little self-conscious about his weight, right? Right. So his coveralls are hanging up with everyone else's in the bunk room. I find his coveralls and cut maybe an eighth of an inch off of his belt. Maybe a little less. <laughs> Go on. And every time I get off watch, before I hop in the rack, I cut a little bit more off of his belt. Totally thinks he's gaining weight. I keep this up for a couple of weeks until his belt buckle's right at the end of his belt. So what did he do? We started working out and skipped a meal here and there. So pretty much did him a favor. Did you keep cutting his belt? You no, know, I did. Up until he made chief and moved into the goat locker. By that time, I think he was wearing a size 36 belt to go with his size 40 gut. He had this muffin top Kawado thing going. It was hilarious. And him trying to act normal thinking no one really noticed made it even funnier. Sometimes I'm glad guys like that are around to keep me entertained. James, is that you being optimistic about something? Yeah. I guess if there were no douchebags in the Navy, then we wouldn't have anyone to make fun of or play practical jokes on or talk about or blame for all the retarded crap that we put up with. Exactly. The douchebags bring balance to the universe. So, how does a big, fat, clueless loser like the ANAV make chief? I don't know, Donnie. I just don't know. And then her hair, she wore a yellow ribbon. She wore it in the springtime in the merry month of May. And if you ask her why the heck she wore it, she wore it for the sailor who was always underway. Underway! Come on, James. Underway! 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 She wore it for the sailor who was always underway. And in her purse, she had a box of condoms. She had them in the springtime in the merry month of May. And if you ask her why the heck she had them, she cheated on that sailor who was always underway. Underway! 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 She cheated on that sailor who was always underway. And on her junk, she had a bad infection contracted in the springtime in the merry month of May. And if you ask her how the heck she got it, she cheated on that sailor who was always underway. Underway, underway, she cheated on that sailor who was always underway. You doing okay over there? I'm freaking fantastic! How are you? So, how does paper beat rock? In rock, paper, scissors, how does paper beat rock? It doesn't make any sense. I can see how rock can crush scissors and how scissors can cut paper. But how does paper beat rock? It covers the rock. But how does covering the rock beat it? I don't know. I don't know either. That's why I'm asking. How could paper beat a rock? The rock would tear right through the paper as far as I can see. Is it a visual thing? You can't see the rock, so it loses? That doesn't make sense either, because stealth would give rock an even greater tactical advantage. It could crush scissors before scissors even saw it coming, ninja style. So paper doesn't defeat rock, paper makes rock more efficient. Maybe rock doesn't know it's conceding defeat to a much less powerful opponent. What happens if rock realizes that it is ultimately unbeatable? It would destroy scissors and enslave paper and rock would rule unopposed. Can you imagine a society where everything is run by a bunch of rocks? As a matter of fact... Or maybe it's a philosophical thing. The pen is mightier than the sword, right? The written word is more powerful than a weapon. And if rock is looked at as a weapon, then that means transitively the written word is more powerful than the rock. And what does the written word get written on? Paper. Or maybe it's just a freaking game and there is no rock or paper or scissors. It's just your hand and your fingers. And the rules are set up so you have an equal random chance of winning, losing, or tying. That's your best theory? All right, let me show you how paper beats rock, okay? I mean, you be rock, I'll be paper. Okay. Oh, you made me ink. <laughs>